What is up everyone, Turvis here. Um, today is kind of a special day today. Um, not my birthday or anything, not yet, not for like another couple months. But today we're going to be seeing a movie. And um, <clears throat> not not just here in the house, no, no not setting it up at all. Like, we're actually going to the theater. First we're going to go to the mall. We're going to explore around, see what's there. Um... And then we're going to go into the theater. Now, for the movie, I have a little plan. <clears throat> Here's the game plan. See, normally, you, uh, um, <clears throat> normally you have to get food at the theater, right? Well, I'm going to try to do the age-old trick of sneaking some stuff in to the theater. Some snacks, of course, nothing else. No bombs or n nothing lethal. <clears throat> But, so we're basically going to be going to the dollar store. Um, again, there's some branded stuff too, so it's not like a bunch of cheap junk. Not really, anyway. But, so we're going to be doing that. Uh, I'm going to head down. What time is it? I'm just going to check. It's 4.15 right now. Um, in just a moment, I'm going to have a shower. And then I'm going to get stuff ready. And then we're going to roll out to the mall, chill out there for a couple hours, and yeah. So yeah, it's going to be great. Stay tuned. This is kind of like the first like vlog I'm doing, because I'm going out somewhere. And, uh, and doing some stuff. So, hope you all stay along for the ride. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. All right, that was a pretty good shower, if I don't say so myself. But anyway, we are going to go see the movie Oppenheimer. Um, I saw the trailer for it one fateful evening, and then I got really interested into it, and then I was just trying to find a way to get enough money to go see it. And I got a, a little bursary from my school, so then I was able to get sufficient funds set aside a little bit so I could see this movie. I have 40 bucks. Half of it I'm going to use for a ticket, half, the other half I'm going to use for snacks. That we're going to try to sneak in using our trusty dusty bag here. We're going to see if that works. I mean, should we just be able to, like, walk on in and stuff. You know, they, just, like, 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 they shouldn't just, like, I mean, some of them do, but, like, here, like, I don't think they do that. I mean, you're just gonna go see a movie. Like, it's nothing, nothing crazy anyway, so. Um, and let's check the time here. In about 33 minutes, I'm, or in about 30 minutes, I'm gonna, I'm taking the public transit, so take public transit, go to the bus stop, take you guys with me, and then we'll be there at the mall, and yeah, um, so when we get there, we're going to buy our ticket, and then we're going to, I think, hold on, I need to, uh, hold on. I apologize, I just had like some live stream going on in the background. I apologize if you heard the noises from that, but... Sorry if that interfered. Oh my goodness, I noticed that way too late. But, we're gonna go down to the mall, we're gonna get our ticket, we're gonna get our snacks, and uh, we're just gonna, well, well, we're gonna get our ticket first, and then we're just gonna chill at the mall for a bit. And then... Like, an hour or so before the movie, we're gonna go get our snacks, and we're gonna go get in the theater, and then we're gonna watch the movie. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna be great. Um, I'm gonna get ready, and I will see you guys um, there at the mall. Peace out. <laughs>
right here next to me is the Amal itself. And uh, just over there is the theater. Oh, the wind. Um, I'll need to uh, hold it because uh, I don't have the greatest stand. But. So we're going to go over. We're going to get our uh, ticket from the theater over there. Going off in the distance, and then we're just gonna chill at the mall for a bit. So stick around. So it's a bit of a walk from the last spot I was at, but we're almost there. So we're gonna go in, get our ticket, and then uh, yeah, just chill at the mall for a bit. Go get our snacks, come back, watch the movie. Okay. So we have our ticket here. Um, I'm gonna pick, uh oh. Um, Oppenheimer. Yeah, I'm sitting basically in the top corner of the theater. You just see. So we got our ticket. I'm just gonna chill off the mall. Oh, see you there. Good news is too is that no one really stopped me when I had my bag. No one really like pulled me over and said, hey, you're not supposed to have that here or anything. So that's some good news. Um I think uh, knowing that, I think they're just gonna let me slip through man. So we're go for that. We're just gonna chill off the mall. We're just gonna sit around and basically just hang out for a little bit go get our snacks come back watch the movie see so i do not have a lot of time here i have to go now so just to make enough time so yeah we're gonna go inside the dollar store um get some snacks hold on here this information booth Is condition that we do the escalator circuit. How do we go? Doing the escalator circuit. So I'm on my way to the dollar store now, but the reason I'm doing this is kind of obvious. Everybody knows that movie theater snacks are way too expensive. Like, for a little bag of candy, it's like five bucks, and like, popcorn and all that other shit, that's, no thank you, man. I'll buy it elsewhere. So, we're on our way to a little place known as Dollarama. We're gonna go in, get our stuff, get back out. Yeah, we're just about here. 
we will get our stuff, get back out, go over to the theater. We're running a little low on time, so we may have to hustle a little bit. All right, it's just down there. First things first when shopping for the theater snacks. I think this is kind of golden cool. rule. Don't get an overwhelming amount of stuff. Get enough, you know, that you think will last you through the movie. That is pro tip number one. So, with the chips, I recommend getting something like Pringles. Because they're not in the last bag. You want to make as little noise as possible when transporting this into the theater. And just minimize on the bag stuff. So I'm just going to cruise around here. You kind of want to generally avoid these. You can, you can, I mean, I'm not saying you can't, but you want to lessen the noise. So, you know, you know, because you, know, you don't want like plastic and stuff. Like, you know, when we're watching a movie and you just turn that all the time, you don't want that. And juices, drinks, and all that. Yeah, they're fine. So, I'm going to cruise around here. Pick out what I want and we'll show you guys what I have. What I got. Here's what I got. Oh, so cute. So, I'm gonna take it in. Okay, so we just got our stuff. Now we're gonna head back to the theater, get in our seat, hopefully get past you know security. My bag here has quite a bit of stuff in it. Last me through the movie. Yeah. See you there. See you in the theater. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so people are. Um, there's no one here yet. Movie start. Um, I have my bag with me. Oh. Just went dark. Huh. I've been looking for a job, so I may consider it. Do you live for movie night out? Kind of. Introducing Cine Club, the but movie lovers' monthly membership by Cine Club. Cine Club is your see big screen box. Extra butter lovers. And don't yes. forget date night. You see points. Do you know the other guys here this thing? On the Cineplex yeah. store. Very transported to be in the scene with. He kind of pulls you inside of it. It's fully immersive. Okay. They're cool. When I first read it, I just never could have expected what I was about to read. And I think whatever you think it is, it's probably not. And I'm just excited for people to have that experience that I had. People have no idea what what this movie is still. Um, I think I think with the trailers, they think they know, but they, they really don't. Do you guys ever think about dying? I think what will really surprise people is also how touching it is. I think it's there's a lot of moments in this movie that really, I think, will strike emotional chords with, with the audience. Humans only have one ending. Get that army! Ideas live forever. Okay, 
just finished the movie. Uh, now I gotta... Here, we'll just take this and pour out. But, all in all, it was, a, it, it was great. I, I liked it. Oh, I loved it, man. Like, like, the way they, like, put together, like, I don't know, all, like, the uh, characters, and the way they interact, and stuff, man, just the story of it all, man, and the way it, like, comes together in the end, man, it's such a, it's such a great movie, man, I hope, like, I, I don't know, like, you know, the main star is Cillian Murphy or whatever. I hope he gets an Oscar for this shit, man. He deserves it. <laughs> man, because this movie, I think, earned him just that. I hope so, anyway. Because, man, what a performance. Um, And just, like... This is based off of real events, too. And... The way it emphasizes the importance of, like, what was going on back then and what it has done for humanity and stuff, like, man, it's, it's kind of scary in a way. Like, it leaves you, it kind of leaves you stopped, but, like, all in all, I loved it. It was a great movie. Um, I'd say money well spent. But I will say, um, I didn't even get half, halfway through my snacks. I was munching down on some of them, but like, and just like I realized, man, it wasn't it. <laughs> There's just something about them snacks that wasn't hitting the spot, you know. But, so, but they were pretty good. It's just... You know, sometimes Dollar Store ain't, ain't it for movies. Maybe sometimes you have to buy, like, uh, no, well, I don't, no, it, it wasn't really the, like, the snacks itself, I'd say. It was more of the fact that, like, I don't know. When, when I was there, you know, in the moment, I was like, I'm not really in the snack mood right now or like you know you're not really feeling it but like I was it didn't make me feel sick or anything I was just like eh I'll just lay off of them take a few nibbles here and there but like I don't go heavy into them or anything but yeah so now I'm on my way home I have um a long bus ride, trans public transportation. I'm gonna head home now. Uh, yeah, and that's all. Um, and I will see you guys when I get home. And I'll debrief, <laughs> do a little debrief of the blog-ish kind of thing. I don't know what to really call this. But it's kind of my first attempt. You know what I mean? But yeah. I'll see you guys when I get home. I'm back. Uh, I made it home safely. I was not jumped. I was not robbed or anything. I'm in one piece. Made it home in one piece. Uh, it's midnight. As of right now, it's uh, 12.24, midnight. It's dark out. <laughs> like, man, there's like a big-ass moth flying in. Like, I, I took off my hat. Like, hold on. I'm wasting your guys' time, but I just need to talk. This is fucking hilarious. So I was wearing my hat like this, right? You know, I'm walking in my room, and then I take it off, and this big-ass moth flies out from underneath it. I'm like weirded out and shit, but anyway. Like this. I was like, this bitch was under my hat this whole time? I'm not having it. I'm not having it, but. 
Yeah, he just flew out recently, but... Yeah, I'm back. Um, the movie was awesome. Uh, I recommend it to you guys if you're planning on seeing it or if you're thinking on seeing it. I highly recommend it to you. It's three hours, though. It's a lengthy movie. So keep in mind, about three hours. But yeah, let me show you guys something. So in the clip earlier, you saw the amount of snacks I bought, right? Let me just show you. Let me just give you guys a quick after, after movie snack report. So, one of the items I bought were Pringles. I'm about halfway through this can. I was about halfway through this can before I just stopped. So that's one. I didn't finish it though. Um, number two. Were these things, these wafer rolls. See, see, see I kind of bought a lot of stuff, because, you know, a three-hour movie, you have a lot of stuff to kind of hold down on and stuff. I don't know, hold down. I don't know if that's the right word. It might mean something that I regret saying, but something I can just, you know, snack on throughout the movie, keep myself well, well fed for my fat ass, you know. <laughs> Gotta keep myself in check, but... I'm not even halfway through these. So I didn't finish those ones either. And then, these fudge cookies. I didn't even open these. <laughs> it gets better. I have three unopened chocolate bars. Yeah, look at me. Yeah, no wonder, man. See right here. Yeah, not a good look, eh? But also, some salted peanuts, sesame crackers. I didn't even open these either. I didn't even touch them, man. And then lastly, because uh, I opened this upside down, they're like, Fruit chews. I like high chews. Dollar, the dollar stores take on high chews. And, uh, here's my receipt. I should probably blur that out. Uh, but anyway, probably should not have shown that. I'll blur that out. So that's going to reveal information that, uh, could lead to some undesired attention. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 items. It cost me 19 bucks, basically $19. Round it up to that amount. And I didn't even get through a lot of it. The only, so I also had these like Mentos fruit, the fruit kind. I finished those, and I had four of those bars out of, the, and I have three left. So I finished, basically finished. The only things I finished were like the little Mentos, and the chocolate bar. But yeah, that's the after snack report for you guys. So, um, yeah, I guess I guess that's kind of it. But I do have something in mind. Um, I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna, like, I, I, I was thinking on adding it in, but I, I didn't want to waste your guys' time too much, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try to start a little series, basically story times, basically called story time with Turvis, your boy right here on screen. It's basically where I take experiences from friends and from myself, and I told it to you guys. And I have quite, I have quite the stories. So you may want to, you may may want to stay tuned for some of them. Um, but yeah, yeah, I've st I, I have quite a few personal experiences. Not like anything like traumatic or anything. Just you know the funny odd story where like some some odd occurrence happened or just some mess up you did that kind of led to like a. Weird, odd situations, so you know, st like st kind of stuff like that. 
and you know from friends and stuff too so a mix of experiences from myself and others so stay tuned for that I have I have one planned for tomorrow it's it's gonna be from my experience and it's gonna be basically a little preview, a little preview. it's basically gonna be about how I tried it was basically my first time taking the public transit to this mall that I just went to in this video for the first time and then uh, not thinking through the day I was doing this and the times I was doing it. And it kind of led to a disaster, so stay tuned. But yeah, that's all for today. Um, for this blog kind of video, this little adventure vlog, I don't know. If you guys have any tips on how I could properly structure these videos, because I know there, like, I have some like inconsistencies in somewhere or another in this. But if you guys have any tips, please let me know, because your feedback will help improve this channel and future uploads. So your feedback matters, and it helps. And it helps me improve, and it helps me pump out better content for those who even swing by to have a look. So, but that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed my first kind of attempt at a vlog, you know. But, yeah, that's all for today. Hope you all enjoyed, and have a good night, have a good day, whatever time you're watching this video. Just have good spirit. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Peace.